Welcome back to Face the Truth. Now, earlier we learned that the Bible mentions the image of Christ, not a physical image, but this image is the image of God, which is righteousness and holiness. Now, the Bible does not give any definitive physical image of Christ. Yet today, there are endless portraits, pictures, and statues which can be found in many churches and also in many homes. Now, among these many portraits that have been made about the Lord Jesus Christ, one of the most popular, one that stands out, is this one made by the famous Renaissance painter Leonardo da Vinci. Now, is it possible that since this is one of the most famous and one of the oldest renditions of Christ or paintings about Christ, that this may be accurate? Well, we will show you what is written in a book entitled My Catholic Faith by Louis Laurevoir Moreau on page 233. It is said that the model the great artist Leonardo da Vinci used for the figure of Jesus Christ in his painting, The Last Supper, was a young man of exceptional beauty, whose countenance expressed innocence and purity in a remarkable degree. Some years after, when Leonardo da Vinci was ready to draw the figure of Judas, the traitorous apostle, he had a difficult time trying to find a model. So he went into the most disreputable haunts of the city to seek a suitable model. He saw all sorts of criminals, immoral men altogether lost to all sense of decency, but still, he was not satisfied. At last one day he espied a wreck of a man, slinking in a corner of a low resort. His face had an expression so vicious and diabolical that the artist knew his search for a model for Judas was ended. Going near, he prevailed upon the fellow with the offer of a great sum of money to sit as a model. The series of sittings was about to end when one day Leonardo da Vinci said, you know, since you came, I have always had a feeling that I have seen you somewhere before. I must be wrong, but the feeling persists. Thereupon the man in an outburst of despair cried, Yes, you have seen me before. I was the innocent young man who sat as a model for the figure of that Christ there. And now, see how I am sitting for Judas. For Judas. Now according to what you have heard from the book that was just read, Da Vinci used a model as an inspiration to paint the portrait of Christ. Take note, it was not Christ himself. That model used for Christ is the same model used to portray Judas Iscariot, the disciple who betrayed Christ as recorded in the Bible. Now, Leonardo da Vinci painted this portrait of Christ in the 16th century. He himself never saw the face of Christ. He painted this portrait as his idea of what Christ may have looked like. So isn't this the same as all the physical images of Christ that we now see today? They are all mere fictional works of various artists. In fact, historically, there are no known authentic physical descriptions or images of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you know, some would ask, is there anything wrong with having these images to remind us of Christ? Well, we will answer that when we return. <music> 